we are sitting together. This is our son, Chad. And I got this issue. I'm 72 and I've got more pounds than I need. And so this guy and his brother, Matt, spent uh, some time after lunch today talking about running. You guys do much running? We do. Uh, what's the longest you've run? Longest I've run personally is a 50K, 31, a little over 31 miles. 31 miles all in one week? Yeah, all in one day. All in one day. <laughs> and all in one day. And uh, the Ironman, what's involved in the Ironman? Ironman is a triathlon. That's three uh, different disciplines. It's uh, swimming, biking, and running. Ironman is a uh, 2.4 mile swim. 112 mile bike and a marathon, 26.2 mile run. Okay, combined. that make me tired thinking about it. Um, so what motivates you to run? Uh, just being in shape. I, when I was uh, in my early 30s, I had, um, I guess, basically gotten to a point where I was sedentary lifestyle and I gained a lot of weight. I was up to 200 pounds on my five foot eight frame and couldn't chase my kids around anymore very easily. Got tired very quickly and decided I wanted to make a change. So I started running. So you started running long ways or what'd you do? No, I started, there was a small mountain behind our house in California and I just started going up and down that mountain. And started out first, just going part way up and back down and finally got where I could go all the way up and back down and that was just walking it hiking it got to a point where I could eventually run it run it up and down so I hear you and Matt talking about a streak so what's uh, what's the streak well Matt started a streak um, in May of 2019 uh, he started running five miles a day without missing a day, and he did that through day, so day 1,000, I'm not sure, um, but he, and then he dropped it to a 5K, so 3.1 miles a day, and uh, I started in August after he started in May, and I've been doing a minimum of two miles a day uh, every day since August 13 of 2019. So you're, you've run how many days in a row? I uh, would have to count it up at this point, but I'm over two years. Two years is this last August. Okay. Two years. Okay. And uh, you know, what do you do when it's raining? Run. What do you do when it's cold? Run. What do you do when you're sick? Run. Uh-huh. So you do that every day? Every day. I actually had COVID and still went out. I wouldn't necessarily call it a run some of those days, but I was moving as quickly as I could, and I still did it every day. Okay, so how long does it take you in a day? Well, it depends on the day, but most of the time um, when I go to run, I'm running at an average pace of somewhere around a nine-minute pace just to cruise. So I'll be done in less than... You know, less than 20 minutes. If I if I have a day where I'm really pushing it, doing an interval run or something, uh, trying to push it as hard as I can, I could be done in 15 minutes. Um, if I could do a real slow day, 20 minutes. So if I were to start running, and uh, first I walked, and then I ran and walked and ran and walked and ran mm -hmm. uh, to get up to a mile, two miles a day. How, how many miles a day does it take to get into shape? It has nothing to do with the distance. It has to do with getting off your backside and moving and doing something. So you're saying it doesn't matter what you do, just so you do something. Absolutely. Okay, so if I want to burn some fat, then if I did a, a mile a day, that would be a start? Absolutely. Any distance, it's not the distance that matters. It's just 
simply getting out and moving for a period of time, getting your body into that motion of movement, um, that just getting your body used to doing something different than being sedentary will make a big difference. So while we're talking, the f number of the family members are outside playing infinity tag. And uh, that means everybody's it trying to get everybody else. Ah, I thought I can't do that because I just have to keep it up. Um, if I'm running every day, every day, how can I keep that? How, how can I motivate myself to run every day? Well, it helps to have somebody else to hold you accountable. So Matt started it before I did. Um, and when I decided to start doing it, then we uh, use an app called Strava that tracks every run that we do. So we record our run, title our run, and post it on this app every day. And so we can look and see if the other person did it, how, what they did, how far they went, what pace they went, etc. So that's a motivator to know that, hey, somebody's going to be looking today to see if I actually did my run and my streak is still alive. Um, but you know, in addition to that, you can do something as simple as take a piece of paper and make a mark on it every day and say, I, I did it this day. And then you know that if you don't keep those marks going, that your, your marks ended. Um, I, I know people that that's a motivational too, just simply I got to make that mark every day on that paper and see how long I can keep that going. Do you do it the same time every day? Uh, I think it's easier if you set it into your schedule so that it it is uh, you know part of your daily schedule. Uh, for me, most of the time, I get up in the morning and go do my run first thing, and so it's done and out of the way for the day. If I don't do it first thing in the morning, um, it can be more challenging and sometimes potentially forget. Uh, Did you ever forget? I have forgotten till late in the day, been in bed already and remembered and had to jump out of bed and go quick run two miles. So, so that you wouldn't lose your streak. Correct. Because when you lose your streak, what happens? And then you start over if you want to have a streak. Yeah, I see. Okay. <laughs> so what uh, difference does exercise make? We talk a lot about nutrition and diet, but where does exercise fit in? Well, I know for me, Obviously, diet definitely makes a difference in how you feel in general, but for me, exercising, if I don't exercise regularly, um, prior to this streak, there were long periods of time where I was not running regularly, um, and I can tell a big difference. I just physically feel better when I'm exercising regularly. If I'm not doing something on a daily basis, I, I can tell. And, I feel much better, uh, I'm more energetic, um, I, I don't tend to ache as much, I, I, my joints, you know, a lot of people talk about running, oh, it's horrible for your, bone, your joints and so on, I've never found that to be the case, I always hurt more when I'm not running regularly. Um, okay, so I'm going to go on record now, it's uh, <laughs> day after Christmas, uh, 2021. I am going to start a streak January the 1st, if not before, and my minimum run is going to be a mile, and I'm going to see if I can do two miles. Excellent. All right. I know there's a gentleman, and I'd have to look it up again, but there's a gentleman that had, it was 40 plus years that had a mile a day. Wow. And, and uh, he was well into his 70s last time I I checked on what his streak was. So a mile a day is very achievable. And that's why I set two miles for myself. Being an avid runner, two miles was not a difficult thing for me to get out and do. And I can do it in less than 20 minutes. It doesn't take a lot of time. And I can do it anywhere. All I need is my running shoes with me. Very good. Thanks so much. You're Merry welcome. Christmas and Happy New Year. Happy New Year.